Hey there everyone, this is Al Cowling Spyro 3, and last time I was shocked and appalled and just completely buffled by the game, showing me the ending, rolling the credit, even though all I did was, you know, beat the last boss. Like what up with that? The sorceress's big fat ugly butt. Uh -huh. She built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight sparks. Okay. But I don't think they're any match for him. To build Sparks specifically. Sparks, you're a known entity in the world. <laughs> Evil villains are now making obstacles for you specifically. That's pretty rad. So yeah, today's gotta be Sparks, and if it goes well, we're also gonna do the Speedway. It's another non-spiral spiral day. There's a lot of those. But... All right, so yeah, welcome to some kind of factory, I guess. Okay, so you just gotta do the sloop. Okay, that's... Fun. Um, can I outrun you? No, not really. But I can shoot you, so you know it's not good. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Just all the bugs live in here. In this hallway. Let's get out. Check it out. We come from a bigger bug. So in this factory, we build large bugs that then build small bugs. Oh, okay, so, okay, uh oh. Uh, there we go. Turn myself around. Uh, I mean, they're clearly coming from something. Like, they don't get all bunched up in the shape of a line like that. Unless, you know, there's a reason for it. I am getting kind of destroyed slightly, but, you know, it's okay. Just a normal amount. Okay, you die when I get your key, huh? Me gaining possession of the key is what destroys your soul, huh? Interesting. The old latch bug. Oh boy, okay. We've got like violent green here. Alright, looking pretty good. Uh, there we go. Facing the way I wanna face so I can destroy the world. Alright, just give myself a health and get all the gems and now I got myself a shield. What you gonna do about that? Throw your bodies at me? is sort of the main thing, I feel like. All right, so we got a door down here. Yeah, we just got three standing bugs. We got doors, like, all over the place, actually. Yeah, but, you know, someone needs to be let out of their little pens. Right, and also, this guy needs to die, probably. Yep, there we go. Hit him once, hit him a few times. There we go, dead bug. Give me that gem. All right. There's a key to collect if you want to enter set and open cages and stuff. Oh, that didn't open the middle. Alright, so one key somewhere, like one door somewhere is gonna be open. I'm guessing. Is it just everyone? You're gonna give me another key or like there's gonna be more? Because otherwise it didn't do a whole lot. Well, I got these little gems. That's pretty great. Check it out. Um, oh, oh, hey! No. Key delivery system just for me. It's pretty great. What's up here? A bunch of steak in gem form. All right. So this seems to be a very similar situation. Wow, you did not like release any bugs at all. You were the lazy type of factory. You were gonna, like, oh well, I don't need to factorize. I'm big and bulky. That's gonna scare a dragonfly. Well, unluckily for you, dragonflies are known for being fearless. Right, so now we gotta down here. Check it out. But crawling with a key. What are you going to do about that for me? Now collect the key. There you go. You're dead now. And I'm fluttering. Here we go, here we go. So it looks like I just kinda did thing in the right order. <laughs> I wasn't sure because like like the same thing happened in the other past Sparks dungeon. Where I was like, huh, if I had chosen different pathways, I think I would not have had like keys to open specific doors. Alright, well anyways, there's a thing there we can go at some point. If we feel like it, there's a door just for us. Well we're gonna go right here down the middle. Oh no factory lord! What does that mean for you? What does that mean for me? 
build. Not okay. Here is down here's the key, and also like just like a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, this is the action zone. Right, that bug is dead. Now we're gonna kill the other one. Okay. All right. Well, I was seen. I was spotted. There we go. Run right at me. Perfect. All right. Just keep on surviving. I'm not afraid of all your masses. I know it's pretty impressive. It's just not that impressive. All right, all right, all right. We can at least heal ourselves back to yellow. We don't got our shine, but you know, we don't need no shine. All right, so same scenario. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Like, there's no reason not to. I should use my thing. Hey, I got all the gems. Cool. Great. Kaida didn't expect that. That was pretty quick. Also, we've got a key so we can open here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a bug there in the wall. Here's a millipede, y'all. Okay, gotta hit the head. Or not. I think I can hit anything. I can hit anything. Uh-oh. But now I'm the one getting hit. I'm might die. I might die. That's a possibility. I, uh... I, uh... Yeah. And I just got dead there. It doesn't... Didn't look like it. That did not look like death. <laughs> Any way, shape, or form. But that was death. No, yeah. Like, the boss is fine up until the point where it, like, runs right at me. And I'm like, oh, no. And I just kind of let myself get run. I want to have a diagonal. There we go. I don't know. I feel. I always feel like a diagonal does more. It's probably not true. Whoa! What was that like explosion mean there, buddy? Uh, yeah. See here, diagonals is not really doing anything. Really. Like it's not impressing anyone. I say that, but look at the boss's health. It's so low. All right. I think one of the halves you know, did not explode. It says their beams as an explosion. a really silly looking encounter. It doesn't need to be that silly, but I'm certainly making it look pretty silly. That is true. Whoops. I, I feel... Whoa. Yeah, no. I mean, you know, they crawl from, from the edge of the screen and I get got. Like, like, I guess, really, you are just losing your time if you hit the head? Like, to me, I thought that hitting the head was good because it flashed red. But maybe that's not true. Like, maybe you really do want to just... Whoa! He turned around. Turned around and I died. No! Dude, I'm so bad at this. I'm just not seeing the shots coming, like, at all. That's my problem. Yeah, so a big problem was that. You really need to hit the body segments. I Because the heads were flashing red, like, I was like, oh, well, I mean, that's clearly what I want to do, right? No, that is unclearly what you don't want to do mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> don't, don't, don't even think, don't even think about the head. But they flash red. That is, like, video game, like, ABCs. <laughs> Oh well, it's fine. Maybe they were losing health and they like just less or something. It's all good. Game must have had some extra magic because Yay. it gave Sparks two new abilities. Two now new abilities. Now he can break open treasure chests, and using the atlas, he can warp you to any level. Just select the level you want and press the square button. 
Opening chests is pretty nice, but I guess it would ruin key puzzles. Oh, and also warping. Yeah, okay. So warp is a fantastic prize during cleanup. But yeah, because I've been basically doing cleanup as I've been playing, and I don't really have a distinct cleanup. Okay, I can see what people meant when they said uh, it would be of limited use for me. But hey, we're doing a speedway now on the harbor. Everything is gray. Seagulls, guys, everything is here. World famous. Top racers are allowed to compete here. The local champions are a group of blue footed boobies. That's a type of birds. Never lost, huh? Well, we're gonna start with the time attack. Easy sway, so just follow the logical line. Are you the logical line? Oh, what, what, this is a... I, I press dash instead of, um, instead of fire. So it wants bird, thing, guy, boat. Language is my specialty. Get out of here, bird. Bird butt! This cannot be the most efficient. But it said it's like that's what Spark says. It's not the most time efficient, but it's the easiest. So sure thing, Jim. They're not blue footed. Right? Sweet. Let's go ahead and go inside these. They very loudly reward you with very loud nipple sounds. It's great. Right? And you don't see the gem until like you're like halfway there. It's also great. All right. Yeah, so here we got, like, lobsters operating, like, little, like, you know, like, guiding lights for planes. We are at a harbor, after all, and it is a foggy morning. Sweet! Alright, now we got fish on the boat, and I missed that one, so... Oh, wait. They're not fully boats, they're... hand gliders. Yeah, but I missed the first one, so this is probably not going to do. Unless they make a really tight circle. Uh, oh, maybe. Maybe they do make a pretty tight circle. Yeah! Yeah, that's right! No, no, no! It's done! Complete! You landed in the water and made an oh shucks motion, but it doesn't matter. I did it! I'm gonna press X to continue. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I did it. I decided I won before I crashed in the water. I did! Wow! On my second try, too. I'm sure they're gonna care a whole lot. Hey, Kobe. What are you doing here? Alright. Very, very short appearance. Alright, now we're gonna do the actual race. Red dots, yeah, we know the rules. We know the rules, and so do you. So do I. So, you know. Make sure you, you get those boosts. Make sure you get those missiles. Everything is important. There you go. See, you want to blow up that bird. I'm just going to slow him down. And I can do like this and be like, where is actually the thing? I don't know. Fighting for fifth place here, that's kind of embarrassing, but I think I like I did it wrong. Okay, you wanna get down, get here. Like I don't know where the rings are, so uh, I might make some, some mistakes. That's fine. Still in fifth. Okay, boost into this, right. Oh shoot, I missed the boost entirely. There's no denying it. We are in the second lap at some point. Go, then you do that, and then you're like, yeah, so I'm in fourth place now. Pretty good. Ugh, but see, like, this is just, like, not a great route, I feel like. Now, yeah, you're gonna... Oh, shoot. Okay, I misunderstood the route there. So you really do want to go, like, around that landmass. Okay, that's like, just like not really intuitive. 
but uh, I get it. So we can do that here. Okay, I mi by following the line, I missed a boost underneath the mountain, sadly. That's okay. Oh shoot, I somehow missed that boost. I don't know how, but I did. Like, it's just, that is what happened. Why'd you go to that one? That is not who I want you to blow up. I guess it was the closest one, though. Let so me go here. That's second place in front of me. I don't know if first place is somewhere. We're gonna go down here. So yeah, instead of following the red lines, go around here. This is sig uh, this is significantly faster, I think. But then I got lost. I, uh... I did not know where I was. Here. Yeah, like, the issue is that, yeah, I get mixed up about, like, where the track is. And I mean, it's like that on purpose. Okay, well, third place, finish. But, yeah, I... This one is hard. It's just, like, <laughs> track is... Kind of spirals on itself. Oh, dude, missile really couldn't just go in a straight line. Oh, I missed the boost there. That's sad. And here doesn't matter. I messed it up royally. What? How'd you? That's right. Get in pain. No, man. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Second, uh, and the uh, start of the second lap, that's great. Maybe I should not take that risky path at the dawn. I don't know why you're not taking this path though, buddy. Like, this is not risky. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, no, game is doing that thing where I'm ahead enough now that I might just be able to do it. So, time to play it safe. Uh, yeah, it sort of conditions you to, like, play a very risky first lap where, you know, where you fight your way forward and you gotta take, like, all the risky stars all, you know, the risky dives and whatnot. And uh, once you made your way to the, to the front, you're, I mean, I'm not saying that you're just coasting by, but, um, I don't know, I feel like the game's just asking a whole lot less of you suddenly. This just feels great. Here we go. Keeping an eyeball on my placements to make sure that, you know, I don't get suddenly surprised. Especially with all the birds everywhere. Like, at this point of the race, everyone is very spread apart. It's, uh, it's part of what makes it confusing the first time you do these races. And again, I'm pretty sure that is by design. It is on purpose. But, uh, yeah. Alright, there we go. Yeah, just... That's it. <laughs> And, uh, it's possible to probably finish with less time, but because you didn't claw victory faster, you don't get it. It's- it's such a weird system. 
Honestly, yeah, losing a race to a dragon, I feel like your reaction should be, you know what, fair. <laughs> Dragon's a dragon, and Jesse is Jesse. What's up, Jess? Got fleas. You were born with fleas. I would like to take the look for hunter challenge. Is it here inside this lighthouse? Sure is! Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I don't know! I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. Wow! This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged, and ah. it's leaving smoke rings. Okay. I think I can keep up with him as long as I can make it through the rings. A manta ray in Deep Jolly Bay, got I'm it! I'm gonna chase him down! Okay! Why are you screen whispering? I'll be right back! Uh, fair <laughs> enough! <laughs> Okay, we're, we're doing this in the... Alright, so this is a get into those thing. While, uh, yeah, it's, it's the Manta Ray. Like, this is a thing that has happened in every single 3D platformer since Mario 64. That weird, like, this, yeah, this Manta Ray is making rings. We don't know why, but uh, it is. And, uh, it's giving you air, which is pretty good. You're just, like, huffing manta ray parts. And that's sustaining you. And at some point, you know, you win a star! Mario 64 is an incredibly abstract game. Uh-oh. Okay, that counted. You're very generous still. I appreciate it. So this is, like, the trick-flying sort of thing. It's like, yeah, no. Just follow the saucer. The ring is really more like the clear gameplay way to make sure that you follow the saucer. And if you follow it enough, it just dies. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the egg popped out just before the saucer crash that, landed. That's lucky. That's a lot of these eggs are just incredibly lucky. Sarah, you were almost an omelet. Oh, you got farts. So, you know, that's what they say. I don't know who and I don't know why. But that's what they say. All right, we got one regular level, and then we got one pose game. I will not be coming back, Sparks. Well, I don't know. Maybe you come back in the in the life we live outside of the game. It's not impossible. It depends what's your take on that. But uh, yeah, that that went pretty well. The race, you know, is kind of what I was expecting. So we got like one level down here that I did skip ahead because I wanted to do the spark thing. So I don't know what this like opening chest mean. Does it mean that you override the need for keys? Because that does seem like a lot. All right, I'll at least kill a few more things to get a one up and yeah, next time, Dino Mine.